there is enough success and happiness in this world for everyone to succeed guys it's hope welcome welcome back to my channel and for new hey i'm hope today i'm going to be filming a super fun and productive day in my life it's currently sunday may 1st so happy may 1st so exciting new month we're gonna do some planning and my goal setting for the month i have so much fun stuff Jeez, i'm talking so fast losing my breath but i have so many fun things planned for the day i'm currently going to the gym I have a really cute gym fit all that i'm gonna show you and we're gonna get on with the day I have like bags and stuff on me because I'm literally walking out the door. But this Flintstones top is from Princess Polly. These gym shorts are from Marshalls. This sports bra is from Marshalls. And then I have on some Air Max 270s. No, just mid blazers. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go hit the gym. Then go do some homework, some editing, some planning, some reading, a bunch of fun stuff. And I wanted to bring you along. I just had a great freaking workout at the gym. My workout was super duper good. It felt so good to be back in the gym. If you guys don't know and didn't see my last video, I'm pretty sure these will be kind of uploaded around the same time. Um, I told you guys I got my wisdom teeth out. So I had to take like a week off of the gym. And if you're new to the channel, I'm literally always at the gym. It's my favorite place. It's become like my happy place the past year and a half-ish. So not being able to go, like literally made me go insane. Like I thought I was going crazy. But I got to go back Wednesday. Today is Sunday. And then I like, it. I got a um dry socket. My mom thinks and the dentist said because... I think I was working out too early and so like it got a blood clot or something. I don't know. I'm not a dentist, but so I had to take another few days off and then I was haven't gone since Wednesday. So I went back today and it was super amazing, super duper great. Hit legs. Literally, I was I thought I went up on my weights by like 15 pounds and then I realized I was like 30 pounds below what I was normally doing, but it's fine because I literally haven't worked out for like a week. And if you weight lift, you know that like if you take a little bit, I mean, obviously rest days are important and that helps you go up in your weights. But if you take like a whole week off, like you're going to lose the weights that you're able to do, which is totally fine. I'm happy, honestly, because I went up in my hip thrusts. Those went up a lot. So that's good. Um, let me know if you guys want some like more gym content because I'm really passionate about it. But I don't really know how to like include that on my channel because I don't really want to do workout videos because... That's just like a lot and I don't really want to film at the gym that much. Anyway, so now I'm at Target. That's the conclusion of that long story. I'm at Target. I have to get some essentials. Then I'm going to go to Panera and sit and do an essay that I have to do. Even though I'm done with school, I don't have to go back to school anymore. Um, I have all of May to work on my senior project. I still have one paper that is due this coming Tuesday. And then I have an exam on Friday and I'm done 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 like officially no more schoolwork. so i just have to get through the next like little bit of the week and then i'll be good but the essay i don't think will take me that long so i'm just gonna go bang it out at panera get it done always go into target and i'm looking for like two things and walk out with like 10 so sucks for my wallet but it's great for content so let me give you a haul this is the most like random haul probably ever i got blue raspberry snow cone syrup because i love a good icy a good ac good blue raspberry icy i had quite a few of those when i had my wisdom teeth out and i now want to make them at home and it'll be a fun little summer thing so yeah then i'm absolutely starving because i haven't eaten i literally always say that i like need to structure my time so i can like eat my meals consecutively that's why when i'm in school it's great because i can when i have free time and i like am planning my day and i'm always out during the afternoon it's really hard and i don't like getting fast food so whatever i got some goldfish to snack on while i go to panera because i don't really want to get a meal at panera because it's already 4 20. um oh my gosh i found a bathing suit top which was so hard for me but just this super cute crochet looking one i don't love the design on the back it's low-key kind of ugly but it made my like chest really nice and i felt really good in it so i got it then i'm people are walking to the car in front of me so i'm just gonna wait a second 
my god, I'm so excited. My mom's making one of my favorite dinners tonight. I just realized that. And I got this super cute orange bralette and it's open. I don't know, I was just thinking like when I'm chilling out around the house, like having some cute stuff for summer because all of my pajamas are like men's extra larges and like I'm gonna die of heat during the summer if I keep wearing that. Then I got this body wash by the brand Method Body, what I've really been wanting to try. This is in the scent Magnolia. Like all of the Method body washes were sold out because of TikTok. But this smells so good. It smells like magnolia, like a good flower, but kind of fruity as well, which I like. Um, then I got Nair hair removal lotion. Pretty self-explanatory. I thought I'd try it because like some parts, this is like really TMI, whatever. Sometimes when I try and shave my toes, it doesn't work. And I don't want hairy toes. So this will be good. And last but not least, y'all already know, I'm a big gym girl. I'm always looking for new gym clothes, so I just got these little like biker shorts. And honestly, they look really good on. And I like outside so it's a little bit loud i have my smoothie it's okay i'd give it like a six and a half out of ten it's not as good as a another mango smoothie i've had but i bought it and this was six dollars so i'm definitely drinking it um but i literally forgot the notes i needed to write my paper with so instead i'm gonna edit this video that i'm super excited about i'm at least gonna get the rough cut done and then go home because it's already like five o'clock and I want to get the paper done tonight for my class so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I'm probably going to spend like 30 minutes. So I'll be here till like 5.30 and get the rough cut done hopefully and then go home, write my paper and then finish up the good editing we'll up to upload it tonight or tomorrow because I don't want to upload it super late tonight. So yeah. I just finished up Panera. It's about 5.23 and honestly I didn't, nothing went to plan. But that's okay because that's life and I think that's important to talk about. I forgot my homework I needed and my videos weren't transporting to my laptop so I could like barely edit. But the stuff I did get in, I cut down a little bit so that's good, I made some progress. Honestly for me, love to do it once I get into it. It's just the getting into it that I like hate doing. But now that I started it, I'm on the right track. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get home and continue on with my productive day. Okay, so I actually went and got my cartilage pierced on this side. I got my second on the side, so I have double cartilage and I just have four on this side. So with that being said, I had my belly button pierced, but it was like not the vibe. He was like, um, yeah, you have to take that out. And I'm like, why? So basically I've lost a lot of weight. So it was like, there was so much room in between the, piercing like the jewelry in my skin that it looked really bad and also he was like you cleaned it too much like make it bad by cleaning it too much so apparently that's what I did so I took it out and I can't get it redone until August which is like annoying because I want to have it for the summertime and I move into college like the beginning of August so I'm literally getting it like right when I go to college which is annoying because I want it for the summertime but it's like one of those things like you can complain about it and mope about it and like be upset about it but it's not gonna change so i don't really want to exert my energy to that i'm just gonna like move on it's like not that big of a deal and i have a really cute new piercing and it literally changes nothing about me like on externally no one literally sees that but me so not that big of a deal anyway i'm going to babysit i thought i'd update you though i still look really cute mm -hmm. and i like my new piercing so all oh. right, so it's currently 1.35 and it's May 4th, um, th Wednesday. I am just currently sitting in my car. I have really good workout. I did my volunteer hours today for my senior project and I had so much fun. I was at a food bank and 
It was amazing. I met so many great people and I had really good conversations and I'm definitely going back just in my own time because I had an amazing experience and I really love meeting new people. Then I went to the gym and I had an amazing workout. I wanted to even do more, but I'm hungry and this one dude was at the machine I wanted for like 30 minutes. It was really annoying, so yeah but it's fine like positive vibes then i'm like let's go to chick-fil-a because i've been wanting to get the chick-fil-a spicy sandwich i haven't had it in like two months and i wanted it again so yeah i went to chick-fil-a thank you fries okay good i didn't want fries but i just got the sandwich my phone is like gonna fall but i just got the sandwich i'm so excited and we're gonna freaking eat because your girl's hungry and i got a diet lemonade because it's so good then I'm gonna go home and shower and live my life and you guys are gonna come with me while I live my life, so. Yeah, let's dig in. Oh my gosh, I'm literally glowing because I'm so happy. I just finished my final high school exam literally ever. Damn, crazy. It was super easy. I honestly had a good time writing it. I had to write like a Spanish itinerary guide for somebody visiting any country. I picked Argentina. I don't know, just the first country I thought of. So yeah, I did that. It was super good. It's now about 12.50 and I'm gonna head to the gym. I can't wait. I have a really cute gym outfit and then get on with the day. Okay, so this vlog has kind of been a little bit all over the place, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up well um, tonight. It's currently Friday night. It's about 10 o'clock, 9.54, and I'm gonna do some self-care. I'm gonna take a nice shower. I'm gonna journal, and I'm also gonna look at some of the cute dorm stuff because I think it'd be really fun. Um, so yeah, just like kind of getting my mindset into thinking about college. I will show you the skincare products I'm using, the shower products I use, so many fun things. So I'm gonna go hop in to the shower because I really want a nice clean feeling. <music>
Okay, so it's currently Sunday, March 8th at 9.30 p.m. I vlogged a little bit this morning. I'm going to make that into a little time lapse, a little aesthetic morning, excuse me, <laughs> morning routine. But um, today's Mother's Day. I went out to dinner with my mom and my brother and his girlfriend. And I actually filmed a get ready with me for that. It is my glowy everyday makeup routine, which is either up before this or is going up very very soon after this video so you should go check it out to see how i do my makeup my makeup is not going anymore because it's been like five hours since i've done it but you should go check it out and yeah i'm gonna go take a shower and then just do a little get on ready with me video where i just do my nightly skincare and talk to you and have a little girl talk so yeah I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but it'll come to me. Don't you worry. So I'm going to go take a shower and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I washed my hair earlier. I just got in and took a body shower and took off my makeup. So yeah, we're going to get right on in with the skincare. So I have some uh, discoloration from pimples. I'm breaking out a little bit up here. So yeah, but I'm going in with my Anna Skin Dark Spot Corrector and putting it on the spots that are just kind of like discolored um but I have a topic I want to talk about and that topic is social media um versus reality in your life comparing your life to other people's um just seeing it through a lens or honestly like just observing someone living their life and comparing it to yours so, yes, um, I'm just going to tell you the product I'm using now, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I really need to work on speaking slower because I talk and I don't even understand what I'm saying. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel and it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is super good for pimples, I'm pretty sure, and like getting rid of acne. And I love this. It's so refreshing. But yeah, um, I honestly, I journaled a little bit about this um a couple of days ago and i'm working on a project that i'm very excited about um it is in the works i need to start really making heavy dents in the project before i release it obviously um but it involves stuff i'm very passionate about involving like talking about things and just having real life combos because if you know me in real life i love talking about deep things so yeah, regardless of that, let's get right on in with the talk. So, in my journal, I remember writing about this girl I watched on YouTube who was on this, like, self-discovery journey. And she was living her best life, it seemed. And she was in Hawaii, I'm pretty sure. And that's at least what I wrote down in my journal. Like, you know, seeing these famous YouTubers, like, living out their amazing life in Hawaii or in, like, this penthouse in New York City and you know, living a life that seems amazing. And while they may share some challenges they have, you're like, oh, well, they live in a mansion in Hawaii or they have an amazing apartment in New York City, whatever the case may be. Um, now I'm going in with this turmeric oil. Yeah, but, you know, you have these things and you may be quite content with your life, you know? I wrote down in my journal, like, I could have been perfectly content that day, you know, going to the gym and hitting my PR on, you know, hip thrusts, which today I hit 185 on my hip thrust, which was super big, even though I literally thought that I was going to have to throw up, but regardless of that, um, you know, like, having things in your life that are successes to you, and just leaving it at that, but with social media, we have this of opportunity and ability to get instant gratification, which is good and bad, you know, could be for something good. If you're like looking for a certain shirt you want and you find it right away online, like that's great. But also there's instant gratification in the sense that you're being fed things that aren't natural for a human to consume and seeing that the exact details and minute thoughts and things of another person's life, it, it's just not normal. 50 years ago that wasn't a thing and I do think that's why our generation struggles with mental health and just different things of that sort because we have this instant gratification to things and it hurts us a lot of the time 
I'm just gonna brush my hair out. It is a little bit wet, so I got a little bit wet in the shower on accident, but let's see. But basically, um, I like to journal and just kind of come to my own conclusions while I'm journaling. And with that, I kind of solve my own problem a little bit. Um, I wrote down that your own little successes in this world are all we need to focus on. And it's so much easier said than done. But for me, it is so important to understand what helps you and makes you feel your best. For me, my phone is addicting. I'm used to it. I literally today was in traffic and I was trying to check how far the traffic was going to be. And I literally was, I was on the highway. I, my instinct was to go and check Instagram and I caught myself in the moment doing that. And it's like, I don't even really like Instagram, but I just had this like natural reaction to do that. And I didn't like it. And I obviously caught myself doing it. And I know that being on my phone doesn't make me feel good. I know that um, for long periods of time because I'm just able to consume and sit with my thoughts. Um, and for me, that just isn't the most beneficiary, beneficiary, I don't know. It doesn't help me. And so I was like, okay, being on my phone makes me not happy and makes me compare myself. It makes me want things. It makes me think I need certain things that other people have to make myself happy. When in actuality, God has created all of us and a plan for all of us um, that is fit for us and suited perfectly for our life, lives. And I realized the little things that make you happy and when you do them, they make you feel good. But when you stop doing them, it might take you a little bit to realize like, oh, I kept my phone in my room tonight and normally I keep it in the bathroom so I don't go on it and I can get a good night's sleep. It's little things like that that make me happy. Keep my phone out of my room so I get a good night's sleep. Limiting my screen time, reading my book, you know, hanging out with my friends, journaling, the little things, hitting a PR at the gym, going to the gym, wearing a cute gym outfit, finding a cute new shirt. The little things for me are what I believe God has granted me to feel my best with. And yes, that success of hitting my personal PR at the gym is not the same as someone on a self-discovery journey in Hawaii that doesn't take away from my successes. I always tell myself that, for one example, another woman's booty doesn't take away from your own. It doesn't, and it takes a beautiful and amazing woman um, that I'm trying to grow in to be, to realize that, like, there is enough success and amazing things in this world for people, for everyone. And it takes work, I think, to understand that. And knowing that if you work hard, and if you cheer for others, instead of tearing them down, you'll make it in the world, you'll be happy. Life is not always fun. Life is not always easy. But I think that is the beautiful part of it. And I think that's why God has created our lives to be that way. So we can really enjoy the amazing moments during the hard ones. Because we want the good moments in our lives back. And we have to do the work to get there. Um, I also wrote in my journal. I'm going to wrap this up in a second. But I also wrote in my journal that... Um, it's normal to be jealous of people. It's normal to look at someone on a self-discovery journey in Hawaii and envy that and want that. That's normal. Human beings, we are naturally jealous of things. That's literally in our DNA, I think. Don't quote me on that. But that's a natural human reaction to things of something you want and you don't have. Um, and with social media, the instant gratification... We're like, oh, I'm not on this self-discovery journey in Hawaii. Therefore, all of my successes and things that I felt good about myself are to go to nothing. They don't matter anymore because I don't have that. That's a normal mindset to have. But if you start changing your mindset and your perspective to, I get to go to the gym. I get to go to school. I get to get an education when there's girls 
in the Middle East that don't have access to education because they are viewed less than men and don't have any form of right to receive an education. I get to go to school. I have the privilege to do that. I have the privilege to move my body and fuel my body. I get to have a relationship with my Lord and Savior. I get to sleep in my own bed at night. I get to brush my hair out with a hairbrush that I like. I get to put on my favorite perfume every single day. If you change the little things that you view as mundane and simple and boring to I get to do this, it's a blessing from God, your life changes. And I'm still figuring it out. I still have a ton of work to do in that department of being positive and uplifting, but also realizing like life isn't perfect and like we all mess up and we all make mistakes. And if you weren't making mistakes and you weren't hitting bumps in the road, I'd be concerned because no one's perfect and it's good to make mistakes. That's what God wants you to do because when you're making mistakes because you're working towards being a better person, you're doing something right. And I'm just going to leave you with the idea that there is enough success and happiness in this world for everyone to succeed. And if you change your mindset and think that way and think that I deserve goodness, I will attract goodness into my life because I, that is what I deserve. That is what I crave. You'll get that. You will, but you have to work for it. And yeah. I'm just going to end that there. That was super fun. And I really hope you guys like my little talk. Um, there will definitely be more chit chatty things in the future. So keep a lookout for that. If you're still here, please subscribe. I'd love to freaking have you here. Um, and yeah, I love you so much. God loves you. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye, guys.